hi guys welcome welcome so today i'm doing a rant video i'm just gonna talk about you know something that i saw online recently like i saw somebody made a post about them being at a hospital and there was also a picture and you know over the years in jamaica a lot of people tend to bash nurses so i'm gonna talk about that today so having been a part of that profession for so many years i want to speak about it okay so when i was in um training you know one of my tutors mentioned that you know people believe that god made man woman and nurses so <laughs> at the time everybody like we found it to be very funny but i have grown to see what she was talking about right a lot of people tend to forget that nurses are human beings and that's a fact we have blood running through the body anyway i saw this recent post i saw this post recently about you know it's always a typical somebody goes to the hospital and they were um unsatisfied with the treatment and whatever and they were sharing their story but what got me was the comments was this one specific comment that not really got me but like over the years i noticed where people just bash nurses oh them wicked them wicked up there and them this and them that and then there was this one specific comment that someone said oh i let them sign up for so like the girl was explaining that um the nurse was on her break or something she was sitting down on whatever and um she went to her and she told her whatever but like under the comment somebody mentioned that um she probably was working a 16 hour shift or whatever and somebody said oh but i that she signed up for <laughs> you know i tend to get so to be so amazed at some of these comments because people tend to forget that nurses are human beings like there ain't no excuse for any um for certain behaviors which are bad but some of the time we don't need to apply for the nurse then fender because guess what we are human being you understand and enough of the time when you don't know half of the situation that the nurses go through you don't know how much makeshift we are fair do much improvise how much things we are fair improvise and what we are fair do yes we at this we sign up for so yeah tell me say a nurse sign up for care for 20 patients at a time that's what we sign up for that's bullshit when y'all talk about oh that's what they sign up for no 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 you have good bad bad and indifferent in everything in every profession you understand there are some nice very very good nurses that put out and know say that's their calling and you have some people where really and truly they shouldn't be in the profession but at the end of the day i'm tired of hearing people bashing nurses and they forget a lot of things you know the working conditions that we go through every day in jamaica like seriously you know how much things a nurse have to go through just for say them and look out for them patient and I try to do them best like seriously going above and beyond even their duty no I mean it's annoying you know so I just felt like I needed to speak about it and the experiences that I've had and a lot of people are misconceived about oh nurse them wicked and them treat people bad as if it's a hobby for nurses to treat people bad no it's not a lot of people take it think that nurses personally just um treat patients bad for whatever reason no there are some people that are people are people as i said and then they, their personality is not very welcoming which it's no excuse but at the end of the day nurses are human being so i feel at away as spice would i say <laughs> we feel away <laughs> all right so um you know nothing is ever perfect nobody is perfect you understand and it's no excuse yes we go through a lot of training to deal with all of the alleys the psychology did this did that we learn to be supportive to give emotional support to do this to do that but sometimes I feel like some of them people are ungrateful. Like they don't know what we go through. Right? And the fact that we are humans. You understand? Sure, it don't give us any right to treat anybody anyway. But at the end of the day, people are just people. 
and nurses are people too right so another thing that um you know i've learned over the years and I've, as i mentioned in one of my earlier vlogs a lot of persons that you see behave a certain way they have their underlining issues <laughs> that they're going through i've seen it over and over and over again where you know especially when it comes on to the grieving process you know people when people are grieving and they're ang they go through the phases of grief they will blame people you know what what really hurt me at the bandwagon is them that jump on and talk bad about the nurses i'm sure you're um, entitled to your opinions but like i find it to be like weighing the, like the system has, is already rough and then the public is like everybody's out to i don't know what, how to put it but like his most of the comments are so negative and i guess people tend to um gravitate towards negativity a lot of times and it is what it is it's just people's opinions anyway but i'm just saying some of the conditions that we work under are like unbelievable if you know you know as the mother say if you know you know and a lot of these people that are talking don't know the half of the situation but people are entitled to their opinion for talk anything they want to talk say right so some of these working conditions are not some of them these working conditions basically are less than ideal and we still find a way to make it work you understand and a lot of the care that patients need at times is not even nursing 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 care like that but with health it's always a holistic approach and the nurse can do so much and no more because the nurse is expected to be a counselor a healer <laughs> are we not god you know a provider sometimes mother it's 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 like a wide 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 variety and jamaica's health system is just not equipped to deal with all of these so at the end of the day i just feel like everything is being placed on the nurse oh the nurse never do this and the nurse never do that you understand someone will not understand say nurse have them problem too like seriously hmm? Some nurse left their yard and just get beat up from them man or their husband this morning. And they still have to come face at work and put on a bright pretty face and go through their day. Who is thinking about that? Sure, it's nobody's fault, but I'm just saying, nurses are humans too. You know? So when y'all come and talk about all the nurses, them wicked. Like we have some ulterior motive to be hurting people or whatever. No, it's not. It's not like that. So, you know. But, as I said, people have their mouth for talk, so they can't talk anything they want to talk, say. But I just find it offensive sometimes, like, you know, knowing and having been there in the system, I know that we have good nurses we go above and beyond. Then call of duty. Not even say have good nurses. I feel like every nurse in the Jamaican health system goes above and beyond because we're understaffed, we're under-equipped, we don't have no supplies most time. You know how much makeshift we have to do and make do? Right? I worked at the maternity unit and me I tell you. Sometimes during what we call the crop season. That's from about like most baby born between like August and December. Not toward the end of the year. Right? So during that time, the place is full. And we're not talking about just mother and you know, mother and baby, some of the words. And it's non-stop. And we have short staff and every shift, but we make do. You understand? We make do. And it amazes me sometimes to see how the ladies, um, the mothers, like they come along and help out each other. Because at the end of the day, say you have 50 patients per ward. And most times that's on any given shift. Or say on the rough ship, like the night shift, we have 50 patients that are 50 mother plus sometimes 40 something baby because sometimes not all the mothers then have them babies with them. And you have three nurses at work. Tell me if that's adequate for me to all of the needs of the patient. Tell me, how, how is that adequate? How is three nurses to 50 and 40, 90 patients? How is that adequate? 
And you have different categories of patients. Some that are sick, very sick and can't help themselves. And some way. You know, the others were stable. So how? How is that adequate? You understand? So a lot of times when people talk, they really don't know the details. And it's just hard, like, to see that most of the comments. And to, you know, them just bring down. Bring down the nurses and talk about, oh, them wicked. And then this and then that. No, it's not that. You know? And I've been worked, as I said, especially in maternity unit. There's instances when sometimes patients have to be looking out for each other. Because it, you have, it's true on our work. I have 50 odd patients. I remember you have to prioritize. And you have to do everything. You have to give medication. You have to sometimes help with baths. It's a lot. You have to clean the baby, them neighbor's string. So many things that you have to do. Plus, you still have to document everything that you do. And a tree on our work. What do you think I got? Hmm? Sometimes a patient have to look off in the one and say, Nurse, one girl like bad through my bleed. Or this. So many things happen. And it's not the nurse's fault. How is it our fault? Seriously. It's not our fault. We just still have to make do and improvise. And sometimes, the grace of God bring through some of them patients there. Because at the end of the day, it's just not enough people. It's not enough nurses to patients. You understand? And we can do so much and no more. You know, for each shift, I know the day shift, you're entitled an hour on the morning and afternoon shift. On the night shift, you're entitled two hours rest. Where are you going to get them break there from? No, you don't get that break. You don't get time to take no break. I mean, you're entitled to it, but can you do it? When you know, say, you have to hold up your colleagues, you're not going to lift. The water pop down by your colleague them no. So a lot of time I just think it's ignorance. As some people when they speak, they don't really know the details. And a lot of times people are hurting. So it is what it is. But you know, nursing is a thing, it's a very personal um profession. I guess maybe that's why a lot of people it's it's so deep because you're dealing with people's lives. You're dealing with emotions, you're dealing with families, you're dealing with death. So it's deep, you know, but sometimes when I feel layer for the nurses, them man, a powerful we find them on backside. You know, but all the story where the girl I can talk about the nurse. Not even with the girl, there are so many stories where they mention, oh, the nurse thief me pitney. The nurse then thief me pitney, like seriously? <laughs> seriously? No, sir. I've been in that profession and, and I don't know one nurse what I want if nobody picked me at the hospital. I don't know that. You know, and a lot of times when I hear these stories about the nurse and do this and the nurse and do that. I mean, <laughs> there are always three sides to a story. You right hear? Three and four and five and six sides. So, when you know you hear the one side and then you jump on and start bash nurse. Oh, they're wicked. They're wicked. Most of the times when you hear people speak bad about something, it's because they may have had a bad experience or something didn't go well in their favor. Too many times I've noticed where, you know, if you deal with a patient and them satisfied, oh, you're the best nurse. And you deal with that same patient tomorrow and they are dissatisfied. You are the worst person upon hurt. So. It's just all about the experience. And I've had this where, where um, clients sometimes are anxious about going to the hospital. This time when I was working like in a health center setting and they would come and say, Nurse, we hear a lot of stories about down at the hospital. And, you know, they feel anxious about going and say, what do you think, nurse? And I always give them this one advice. I always say to them that, listen, every, nurses are human beings. They might know. Here, Everybody have their own experience. Go with an open mind, especially the first time mothers are anxious and they don't know what to expect. Go with an open mind. Be knowledgeable of the process of labor. Know what you're to expect. Read and know yourself. Educate yourself. Go with an open mind. Don't let, because you hear that somebody have a bad experience, you go with a preconceived idea that the people down there are wicked. And you're going to get a bad treatment. No. You understand? 
Go with an open mind. Be smart. Don't be timid. Know your rights. Read up about your condition. Know what you're to expect. And you'll be all right. And, you know, a lot of times when these people come back and I get a feedback from them, I say, nurse, but uh, me, 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 me meet Wally a nice nurse. I may have a good experience. So it's all in the um, mindset and knowing you're right and standing up to your ground because you really have some nurse who are really challenging and go like, say, you know, you're them pitney or whatever. But no, be knowledgeable, be mindful. You don't go, go and tell him, oh, if you treat you and go like, say, you're the doctor or whatever. But know what you're about. Be respectful. Because giving respect, earning respect. You understand? And you'll have a good time. Like, seriously. So I always tell them that. Say, just go with an open mind. You know, that's all you need to do. Because a lot of persons, a lot of times, like, I could, like, pick up when I was in the, um, working in the um, labor ward. You could see the anxiety on some of these people and they come with their preconceived notions and sometimes they become difficult patients. You understand? So if you, you're not in that frame of mind to the deal with a difficult one, then put them in a them place like they're going to have a hard time. Because if you're not in that frame of mind and they're already preconceived about, oh, me not do this and me not do that and a nurse, them come with an attitude. And if you have in a body, you probably will give them back the attitude. You know, but you can just, I've been in it long enough to know those people that come with their preconceived ideas and a lot of them feel like they're entitled. <laughs> I don't want to say this in but I, I, I noticed a set of persons, government workers, so that a different profession, when they come to the hospital, they, not all of them, but some of them come with an entitlement attitude that Oh, I'm this, so I must be treated a certain way. But no, that's not how it goes. <laughs> you're a patient. When you're at the hospital, you're now a patient. And that's that's just it, you know. But, you know, being in the profession, over the years, I've, I've learned a lot. That And the main thing is that people are just people. That's what people need to get in their heads. Yes, you're a nurse, but you're also a human being. So, when I look um get over the preconceived ideas that nurses are superheroes and nurses are this and nurses are that no we are human beings first all right and then another thing also <laughs> another thing that i noticed with um <laughs> with some patients like <laughs> i don't know it's like even though a lot of people perceive nurses to be monsters or whatever most of the times patients tend to um i guess because we're the closer ones to the patients but even though people have said nurse this and nurse that believe me a lot of times a majority of the times i don't know it's like some of the patients are so timid in speaking to the doctor the doctor could just leave the bedside and give them an instruction and instead of them asking the doctor to repeat, they're not doing it. It's like they just say, yes, doctor, yes, doctor, yes, doctor. And that's it. And then when you go to the bedside as a nurse, now, that's when they're asking, nurse, how way, how way the doctor did mean by this again? How way, how way, how? And you have to say, what, what? The doctor just like, why didn't ask the doctor? You know? And I don't know. It's it's just amazes me all the time when I see this, like, it's like they're afraid to speak to the doctor. I guess the nurse patient um relationship is closer. I don't know what it is, but you know, but there are good times. Like despite the bashing and the this and the that more nurses. If you really love the profession, like you have your good days, you have those wins that you really, really some days you just feel like, you know, it's good. You have good, good people that you meet and you know, and then you have the difficult ones, them too, that end up being your besties. You end up turning bestie because sometimes they come in at the hospital with them preconceived ideas or their issues, you know, because everybody have issues. And, you know, when you're done with them, especially on the labor unit, and when they don't go through labor and then done with them madness, you know, turn big friend and them thank you. And, nurse, you're such a nice nurse and thank you for it. To be here with me and do this and those little things make you feel good like make me feel good 
So it's not all bad. Jamaican healthcare system might be terrible. We're a third world country. We understaff. We, you know, it's bad. But there are some goods. There are some wins, you know, coming through. So on a stop bash nurses, man. Give a little support because we don't be working under some terrible conditions. You know, so don't be quick to judge. When you don't know the story, don't on top what that them sign up for. Because we sure never sign up for blood a problem. Because we don't have enough time to take break. We never sign up for, for um, high blood pressure and diabetes because our I mean it's it's no excuse. I mean we are, we gotta take care of our health, but a lot of times the working conditions are very, 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 very poor.